Hello everyone, our today's question is if a1, a2, a3 are the three values of a which is satisfying the following equation then find the value of 1000 times a1 square, a2 square, a3 square. So let's start with the equation. I'm calling the equation as i as integration 0 to pi by 2 sin of x plus a cos of x whole cube d of x minus 4a by pi minus 2 integration 0 to pi by 2 x cos of x and d of x. This is given equal to 2. Now, let's divide this integral into two parts. The first part is, let's call this equation, the integral as i1 and the second integral without the sign is i2. Let's say this is i2 and this is i1. So, I'm going to solve separately both of them and I'm going to plug the value. So, let's start with the value of i1. So, i1, if I'm going to open, I'll get 0 to pi by 2 sin cube plus We'll get a cube integration 0 to pi by 2 cos cube now we'll get here 3a times integration 0 to pi by 2 sine square and cos here plus integration 0 to pi by 2 now this time we'll get 3a square outside and then sine and cos square here now first of all i1 is the first term Integration 0 to pi by 2 in general I remember of sine of x, sine square of x, sine cube and sine raised to power 4 I remember. So sine cube is 2 by 3. Plus here we will get a cube. Similarly the integration of 0 to pi by 2 cos cube I remember. This is a general integral and that is also 2 by 3 plus 3a times. Let's integrate this. So here oh, I am going to uh, convert sine square into as 1 minus cos square. The moment you multiply cos to 1, we'll get cos of x and integration 0 to pi by 2. In brackets, I'm going to write integration 0 to pi by 2, cos of x will be 1. And then this cos will multiply with cos square will give you cos cube. And cos cube we know that is 2 by 3. So we'll get with a negative minus 2 by 3. Similarly, for the next term plus 3a square. And this integral I'm going to evaluate writing cos square as 1 minus sine square. I'm going to multiply this sine with 1 and I'll get sine of x integration 0 to pi by 2 that is 1 minus sine of x into sine so square x. Here we'll get sine cube. So integration 0 to pi by 2 sine cube will be 2 by 3. Now I'm going to simplify this expression. Now here we're going to simplify i1. So i1 will be equal to 2 by 3 plus 2 by 3 a cube plus I think 1 minus 2 by 3 is 1 by 3. 1 by 3 and 3 is gone. 3 and 1 by 3 is gone. So remaining is a plus a square. So I think this is the value of i1. Let's simplify i2. So i2 is nothing but this integration of x cos of x only. So i2 is integration of 0 to pi by 2 x times cos of x without the sign we have taken. So here obviously we are going to apply by parts. So x is first function and cos of x is second function. Let's integrate. So first function into integration of second that is sine of x lower limit 0 upper limit pi by 2 minus integration of differentiation of first function. So differentiation of x is 1 and integration of uh, cos of x is sine of x. So let's input here pi by 2. If I input pi by 2 we will get pi by 2 into, into 1 and then the moment we input 0 it is 0. So pi by 2 minus 0 minus times integration 0 to pi by 2 sine of x is 1. So here we have i2 as pi by 2 minus 1. Now let's simplify the equation. Now I'm going to substitute the value of i1 here and i2 here. So we'll get this as 2 by 3 plus 2 by 3 a cube plus a plus a square minus 4a by pi minus 2. Now before putting i2 here, I'm going to take the LCM. The reason is we'll get pi minus 2 upon 2 is equal to 2. So that this pi minus 2, this pi minus 2 will cancel out. This 2 will cancel out with this 2. Remaining is 2a. Now I am going to take LCM and I am going to simplify this cubic equation. So we will get this as 2a cube. Plus uh, I think we will get this as 3a square here. And the coefficient of a after taking LCM is this, this is a here and this is minus 2a here. So remaining is minus a. So minus 3a here. Remaining is uh, on the left hand side is plus 2. And on the right hand side after uh, taking LCM and shifting 3 there, you'll get 6 and then minus 4 this side is equal to 0. So we got a cubic 
and for this cubic as you can see there are three values that is a1 a2 a3 given by them so if we want to calculate a1 square a2 square a3 square with this cubic we can extract some information the information is uh summation of a1 a2 a3 that is minus 3 by 2 i can write from here so let's say this first equation and second thing is we can extract that is summation of a1 a2 will be equal to again minus 3 by 2 now with these two information i think i can calculate the given value a1 square a2 square a3 square that will be equal to a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square will be equal to i think i can write this as a1 plus a2 plus a3 whole square minus two times summation a1 a2 now let's simplify this so we'll get this as uh, this will be equal to 9 by 4 minus 2 times minus or minus plus so this will be 3 by 2 and this 2 and 2 will cancel out after simplification this is lcm after lcm it will be 12 plus 9 that is 21 divided by 4 so we got this as 21 divided by 4 now let's substitute the value here so if we substitute 1000 times 21 divided by 4 I think this 4 and this 1000 will cancel out will give you 250 and 250 into 21 will be 5250 so 5250 will be our final answer and that will be all.